Oh my God, what's going on? First, Frank is drinking beer in restaurants. Now, he's getting a tattoo. Is the world ending? Is the world ending? Guys, I've thought about this for a while. Uh, a lot of you know I had gynecomastia surgery a few years ago. Wasn't too happy about the scars. Main reason I'm not actually posting fitness content. So I figured, hey, last resort, maybe if we get a tattoo to kind of cover it up, it'll look good and I'll be happy to do my... Uh, at least a little bit of fitness content here and there. So we actually got some of it done already. Uh, we're going down for the second session and I'm happy to report that I didn't really notice any sort of reaction from the tattoo outside of a slight immune reaction, you know. Um, in regards to liver health, I think it's insignificant and uh, just really it's a lot. I mean, we have some of it done already. Uh, after you guys see what it is, you're, I'm gonna get so much. You guys are gonna be so much crap because I've actually talked trash about these types of tattoos before, but we'll get into that later. Um, I'm just all dressed up. Uh, I'm gonna go down to work a little bit. Then we gotta drive down to the city for the whole day tattoo session. I got my lunch here. We'll vlog the lunch a little later too. Show you guys what we're eating. Yeah, honestly, I would have probably just not gotten the gyno surgery in the first place and maybe just gotten a tattoo to cover it up. I don't know what I would have done either way. Go back in time and get reborn with better chest genetics. <laughs> Real solution. So the appointment is at one o'clock. I'm leaving work now around noon. It's gonna take about an hour to get down there. I got so much stuff in my car. I got my lunch. I got a few gifts for the tattoo artist. He's just like some fitness guy. He likes eggs and stuff. So I just got him a few things. Um, my seat sensor thinks I have a girlfriend because it's asking me to put the seatbelt on in the passenger seat. All right, guys, we just got here. We're all the way downtown. Hopefully we don't get a parking ticket like this guy behind me. <laughs> we'll see about that. But with the amount of money I'm spending on this tattoo, a parking ticket is, uh, enough to wipe my ass with yeah so this place is really expensive i mean getting a chest tattoo in general is pretty expensive you're paying three four five hundred dollars per hour depending on the skill of the tattoo artist and i figured hey how many tattoos am i gonna get it's not gonna be more than one or two ever in my whole life so i figured i might as well go to the best artist find a style i like and, and roll with that so we got this one i can only imagine maybe i'll get something in the middle of the chest too just to finish it up but who knows maybe just only this one from like the ink perspective, you're trying to use like a minimal amount, but it's not that big of a deal until you start doing some like the accused shit. Hey, what's up, man? All right, first I gotta explain to my YouTube viewers why the tattoo. So the evil snake stuff wasn't my idea, but after much deliberation, we decided it would look the best from a symmetry perspective. I'm not like joining some evil boy serpent club, but um, this is the outline. It, like it covers down here, obviously, and then it actually even goes up and covers some of my stretch marks. So uh, that's the main purpose. And it's like all stencil right now, but we're gonna shade it in and uh, hopefully I won't lose my mind because I'm impatient. So I'll show you guys before. Uh, you can tell I have a tattoo, but it's obviously like not that dark yet, so. Now we're actually gonna eat lunch before we start. All right guys, we got a steak, mushroom, onion sandwich on organic bread. Avocado oil chips, not organic, but it's like the only option they have. We have our apple as usual. We will have a quinoa crisp bar, just some water. Down here I got some B-Complex and secret product you guys will see tomorrow. So it's like 6 o'clock at night. <laughs> I've been up since 6 this morning so I am not having fun. I'm surprised my head doesn't hurt more. One side is almost done so hopefully he can finish this side today and then we do the other side tomorrow and that's it. I mean I guess a, another day isn't that bad but work. He does each scale individually. Tattoo looks good. Eight hours later, of course, the migraine. So hopefully it can help me feel a little better tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, my head hurts pretty bad. It's not like the worst migraine ever, but uh, that lunch was a little too high in fat, and my fatal error was not bringing some powdered masticum with me. And then the EMF in there isn't that great. Even though I tried to keep my head covered with the net, I, I just feel so sick. Plus lying down like that when you're getting tattooed after lunch, 
and the bile just sits there in my stomach. It's bad. Now, for a second, I was thinking I might have to cancel the next appointment for next week, but it's like 2 a.m. and I feel a little better. My head doesn't hurt as much. I'm like <laughs> losing some vision in my left eye from the migraine, which is like a little blurry, so not good. You know, I said at the beginning of this video that I had no reaction to uh, the first time I was getting tattooed. That might have been because it was a low amount of ink. Uh, I did not sleep a wink last night. Could have been because I took some vitamin C, which sometimes gives me insomnia. So we'll know for sure, like after we do the second session tonight, if I sleep or not, if there is a potential issue. I had some slight heart palpitations as well. So um, it's possible that, you know, the heavy metals and the tattoo ink cause insomnia. But uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to discount it yet because most of it does stay in the skin. So we'll see how tonight goes and hopefully I don't die. <laughs> yeah, my stomach's kind of fried. I didn't drink any water keeper this week and I also forgot to bring home some of the grains. So that should sort me out in a day or two. It's just, you know, when I go out and I eat a lot of food that I'm not supposed to when I go to restaurants, I kind of have to get. Continue on East Houston Street for half a mile. A large amount of water keeper. For at least a day or two to feel better. All right, round two. We are back down in this fucking shithole. I look like a zombie because I did not get any sleep, as I said. So I'll show you guys my lunch now because I'm not sure if I'm going to eat it. I just bought like a thermos of my beef barley stew down with an apple. A little less fat than last time around. All right, I guess round three. <laughs> All right, guys, round three. If any of you are ever wondering if the tattoo hurts, on certain spots, but it's not like super horrible. Yeah, this takes him about an hour, so as you can imagine, the whole snake, seven, eight hour job. Bro, these stretch marks are so bad, I gotta stop working out. Yeah, so I've deduced it's a combination of several things. One, I'm lying down, and even if I lie down in my bed in like bed canopy EMF stuff, I still don't feel it. Two, relatively high EMF, so not the best thing for more than a few hours, especially if stuff's close to your head. And three, even if I have this thing on my head, I need some fresh air. That's the, the issue with the head net, outside of looking like a crazy keeper, is that you're like breathing in your own CO2. So, Potato chips, grilled cheese, <laughs> steak sandwich, not the best meat. Yeah, so if I'm like lying here with this on, I can only breathe so much, so I gotta go like this. We're on the home stretch though. Almost done. Almost done. Guys, cool as well as that later. Bro, nine hours later, almost done. Just some final touch ups. Alright, are we officially done with the medieval torture? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Looks pretty good. Definitely, uh, definitely no more scars, no more stretch marks. A little extra. Bro, I was chubby yesterday, and after getting sick and not eating for a day, I'm back in shape. Well, guys, that's it for the tattoo vlog. I actually feel pretty good right now, surprisingly, after not eating all day. Uh, the health stuff <laughs> might not be related to tattoo. Because like, I took a lot of vitamin C and calcium yesterday, which sometimes makes me not sleep so well. I will say, though, that first lunch I had yesterday, that definitely messed up my stomach. Those potato chips and that sandwich were not good. Not good. Way too high in fat. Not the best quality. I thought, I, I thought it was passable, but it's whatever. So I'll give you guys a, a little health update next week. Uh, I'll talk more about how I reacted to the tattoo, maybe, if I do have any reactions. But... Uh, it's not like some Yakuza stuff, you know, the Japanese guys that get tattooed when um, uh, 
This guy's picking up bottles. I'll give, let me give this poor guy a little money. Um, yeah, it's not like the, those Yakuza guys that get tattooed three, four times their full body and messes everything up. But um, maybe we'll start doing some fitness content again soon. After I spent uh, more than what my car is worth on my chest. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Please leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. Drop a like on the video. And if you want, check out frank-stefano.com to support me through my businesses. Guys, believe it or not, this is a this is a business marketing expense. You know, it is 100%. It is.